These are the New York offices of the Daily Bugle, where young Peter Parker is employed as a freelance photographer. Peter's work on this large daily newspaper has brought him into contact with some of the more unsavory characters that roam the streets of the city. Boy, what an ugly bunch! The nastiest batch of criminals in the world, and New York's got them. Lucky thing, they've also got Spider-Man. Only Peter's wife, Mary Jane, knows his extraordinary secret. That he is not merely the pleasant and conventional young man he seems. Mary Jane! Hi, Tiger. Hi, honey. What's up? I was just on my way to the studio to take today's episode of Secret Hospital. Thought I'd stop by and get a kiss. If you're not too busy, of course. Now there's something I'm never too busy for. <laughs> that ought to keep me happy until dinner. See you then? Yep. See you tonight. She's being attacked! When trouble arises, as it does so often, Peter Parker is no longer just an ordinary newspaper photographer, but something else entirely. Something with the strength, endurance, and power of... Looks like it's time to call on your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man! Good work, Spider-Man. It's a good thing you came along when you did. You're the best friend this city ever had. I'm just glad you're on our side. I was just doing my job, officer. Happy to be of help. Young man, I don't know what I would have done without you, but you really shouldn't run around in public dressed like that. Yes, ma'am. I'll keep it in mind. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Young man is a real hero. He certainly is, ma'am. I don't know what this city would do without him. Let's see what's on TV. We interrupt our regularly scheduled broadcast to present this special emergency report from Wilson Fisk, a concerned citizen and one of our city's leading businessmen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fisk. Kingpin. What do you suppose he's up to now? Whatever it is, it's bound to be bad news for New York. And for Spider-Man. Fellow citizens of New York, it is my painful duty to make you aware that a monstrous crime has been perpetrated against us by a man we thought was our ally. It has come to my attention that Spider-Man has turned renegade against the forces of law and order. Hey, that was back when Jonah had everyone convinced I was a crook. And I didn't hurt those cops. He is perpetrating one monstrous crime after another all across our city. But I never did that. Oh, my poor doggy. And now he has devised the most ghastly crime of his career. He has planted a bomb that will explode in exactly 24 hours, destroying the entire city. I certainly never did that. I am offering a reward of $500,000 for Spider-Man's capture, in hopes that he can be forced to reveal the location of the bomb before it is too late. We must protect ourselves from the super-criminal Spider-Man. Peter, what are you going to do? If there's really a bomb, it is a kid in his job. I'll have to find him. It's all in the next 24 hours. But the police are going to think you're the criminal. Don't worry about that, Mary Jane. The police know I'm on their side. I want an all-point bulletin issued for the arrest of Spider-Man. Consider it done, sir. Who would have thought Spider-Man would turn on us? Now we're going to have to turn this city upside down to find him before that bomb goes off. Let's get on it!
Thank <laughs> you.